how to sell digital products on Google Forms. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a, a digital product, for example, that we are going to create on Canva to our Google Form and also how we can make that a form payable or collecting money for the product. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to Google or docs.google.com slash forms. You're going to see here at the Google Forms uh, re registration page. Uh, so you need to sign in into an account on here for Google. Then you are going to see the forms platform. We are going to select one of the forms right there that are on the templates, or you can go ahead and create one from blank. I'm going to create one from scratch. We are going to name it, for example, here. Uh, uh, let's say that we are going to set it as an ebook demo, like that. And you are going to set it as bold, like this. And here for the form description, we are going to set up the description of that ebook. For example, this is a test ebook for. Uh, for you, for example, and here we are going simply to let it as it is. Now I'm going to add in this section something that we are going to set up. Here we are going to either uh, add a file upload, or we can go ahead and add an image from here. I'm going to select an image, uh, Google Images, Photos. Let's see here, what do we have now? I'm going simply to add one of the images or uh, let's say here or upload any image. Let's go ahead and set up here any image that we have. So we're going to add this one as an example. Here we have it. Then we are going simply right there to add a little description or a text to this specific one. So we are going to have here this as not a choice, but a paragraph, for example, like that. Uh, and or we can go ahead and add it as a short answer or let it as it is. For example, here, you're going to set up here. This is a demo of the file that you are going to get. So. And here we're going to add another question, which is going to be here, uh, select the button to get it or select the price. So now we are going to have here a, uh, let's say a price, for example, we're going to type in the price by starting with the currency, for example, dollar, 120, or for example, $10, like that. So we're going to let it as it is. You can go ahead and put here the description a little bit longer. We're going to head over Canva. So we are going to uh, select here our digital product. So we are going to type in ebook, for example, on the search bar. You need an account to get the access to Canva, of course. Basically, right there, we are going to create a, or get a uh, an example of the ebook. So I'm going basically here to select one of the uh, examples or templates from here. So we are going to maybe get this one. We are going to click on customize. We're going to customize it, for example, like that. I'm going to type in here our name, Jack Smith. Boom. Now, all we need to do is to add, for example, some pages like that, and then start making your ebook. This is going to be like that. Add some content, for example, here a heading, duplicate it, for example. This is just an example. So you are going to be here uh, free to add whatever content that you want, or in case you have already a, an, a digital product or an ebook or something like that, you're going to get it. Here we are going to let you see the necessity of adding the file to the Google Drive because we need that link. So I'm going to get here the file. So it doesn't matter. We are going to get it as a PDF standard. And we are going to add it to our, um, let's say here, 
Google Drive. So we are going to click on download. We're going to add it into our drive. So it will upload here soon. And then we are going simply to add it into here. Now, back to the form, we have made everything in order. Now we are going to click on the three dots at the top, click on get add-ons. And from here, you are going simply to visit the Google Workspace Marketplace. We're going to here type in payable forms. We're going to get the suggestion from here. And here we have the payable form. We're going to click on it. We are going to install it into our form. And we are going to make sure that we are going to use the same Google account as here. Click on continue. Boom, allow. And here we have it. A little disclaimer, guys. Everything created in this video, such as email addresses and Google accounts, are created only for the sake of the video and not for any personal uses. So make sure that you are going to use here your own information and also your own accounts. So it is installing right there. So we are going to see here if we've made it so far on here. We're going simply to get our link. I'm going to share that link and put it as a open link. So we are going to click on the general access right there. We are going to click on copy. We're going back here to click on uh, the get started of the payable forms. So here you are going to select the country, for example, the daughter, USD. Looks good. We don't need that video. Now everything is set. So we are going to select here the uh, or three options that are going to help us with there. I'm going to wait for the load here. I'm going to click on synchronize theme. It is a little bit buggy, but we need to bear with that. So we are going to sync or synchronize theme with checkout. And then we are going to add the auto configure form and sheet. And the final step is going to be here, connect a payment provider. So the theme sync is completed. We're going to set up the auto configure form and sheet. It will read normally here the price. So add sample payment section. So this is accessory. We're going to uh, see connect with Google Sheets here. I'm going to modify the price. So we do not need a space here. So we are going to see the example, your item. So we are going to set up the item. For example, get like that, your book. And here we are going to set up a dash, a space, dollar sign or the currency sign, and ten dollars. Boom. I think there here we have it. I'm going to put a space here. Since we are going to add a sample payment section, it should be like that. So here we have the options. So we are going to see the sections. You can go ahead and copy paste here at these items or go ahead and set up yours. I'm going to delete that because I do not need it. And this is it. Now you are going to click on connect a payment provider. So you are going simply right there to set up a, a square, for example, Stripe, PayPal and etc. So go ahead and select one of these providers. And after that, you are going simply to uh, make this form payable. So here you are going to get this choice after you have set up the payment provider, of course, uh, make this form payable. You are going to turn it on and I'm going to try and add uh, my payment method. So basically I have added square right there. As you can see, everything is updated. I'm going to close this window. So we are going to wait for the check-in with the payment provider. Normally it will give a positive feedback. So we're going to load it. It is a little bit buggy as I said before. So it is connected. Now we are going to make this form payable like that. You can go ahead and get a demo after enabling the form, or you can go ahead and make it real and collect the money. So. Right there, we are going to see here the example. 
and so for here on the testing mode you are going to set it after you have set up a testing mode you're going to click on off real money so you are going to get this um right there um form paid i do not forget to rename the uh here the um uh, the form now we are going to see the checkout settings we are going to scroll down a little bit here we have the post payment message you're going to thank the customer for example your your purchase like that and then you're going to type in here is your book we're going to set up here the uh, drive or the google drive uh, link and here we have it so we have made the payment form and the digital product in the same time thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one